Hi, my name is Octay. Welcome to today's video about the uh, metro lines, uh, U1 and U3 of the Berlin Metro. This is a picture of the, the uh, newest train model, that's the HK series of the Berlin uh, U-Bahn Metro. This is a picture of the structure of the Berlin uh, Metro, which was opened in 1902. It is a 155 kilometers network uh, with nine lines. Only the lines uh, U1 and U3 uh, make a pair. Yeah, this is the U3, this is the U1. Uh, all other lines are independent from each other, which is a big advantage. And the system contains uh, 175 stations. This is a map of the line U1, um, which starts at the Ulanstraße at the west. This section from Wittenbergplatz all the way to the last station, Warschauer Straße, uh, is a common section with the other line U3. Uh, the line U1 has a length of 9 kilometers, 13 stations, and was opened in the year 1902. This is a picture of the station Ulanstraße of the line U1, and um, this is the terminus of this line, and in this picture you can see the Model A series, the Berlin Metro. This is the next station, Kurfürstendamm, which is a transit station to the other line U9. Uh, this is a picture from the surface. Kurfürstendamm is called in Berlin uh, most of the time, times just uh, Kudamm. It is a famous uh, shopping street in uh, Berlin. This is the next station, uh, it's a transit station, uh, Wittenbergplatz. Um, this is where the lines U1, U2 and U3 meet. And this is a structure of the station in Wittenbergplatz. And you can see the line U2 is uh, independent from the other two lines. And uh, trains from the uh, lines U3 and U1 can arrive at the same station, at the same time at this station. So this station has uh, three platforms. And from there on to the east, um, the lines U1 and U3 have a common section. This is a nice gesture. Um, this is a sign from the uh, London Underground. It's a gift um, to Berlin and was uh, given in 1952 um, when the, this was the year of the 50th anniversary of the Berlin's metro system. Yeah, that's a gift from the London uh, metro system. This is the next station, Neulendorfplatz, um, which is a station of four lines, U1, U2, U3 and U4. This is the upper level station of the line U2. Uh, you can again see the train HK series. This is the underground station of the lines U1 and U3 at uh, Neulendorfplatz. This is the next station, the Kurfürstenstraße. It has an interchange track um, which goes through the second floor of a residential building and it has a height difference of 19 meters. This is the next station, uh, Gleisdreieck, uh, which is a transit station of the lines U1 US and U3 to the line U2. This is the upper level station of the lines U1 and U3, and in this uh, picture you can again see the model HK series. And here you can see a number, 05, uh, this is called in Germany Kurs. Uh, so uh, there are several trains on the uh, uh, same line. And this uh, Kurs means uh, number of the train. So this train is the Kurs number 5 of the line U1. This is important for the communication of the train drivers with the control center. This is a picture from the interior of the HK series. This is the next station, Möckernbrücke, uh, which is a transit station, the line U7. This is the next station, Hallisches Tor, uh, which is a transit station to the underground uh, line U6. This is the station, Hallisches Tor, and you can see the uh, model AC series, and it has a decal on the um, windows. This is for protection against uh, graffiti. 
It's a nice sculpture. It's called uh, Flussschifffahrt, uh, which means uh, river shipping. It is from Otto Geier and from the year 1880. This is the station Prinzenstraße, and you can uh, see the series A3 of the Berlin Metro. This is the station Cottbus Tor, which is an underground station transit uh, to the line U uh, U8. The, the station of the U8 is underground, and uh, this station is above ground. This is the next station, Görlitzer Bahnhof, in the district of uh, Berlin Kreuzberg. You can see this is a nice uh, station building. This is another very nice station, uh, it's uh, Schlesisches, Schlesisches Tor, which was built from 1899 to 1901. In this picture, you can see the platform of the station, and it is part of the cultural heritage and is protected. This is the terminus of the lines uh, U1 and U3 at the station Warschauer Straße. And in this pic picture you can see the former line uh, U12, which is now part of the line U1. This is another picture from the terminus, and you can again see the uh, series HK of the Berlin Metro at the station Warschauer Straße. Warschauer Straße is also a transit station to S-Bahn lines. S-Bahn is the commuter train of Berlin. There are five lines at this station, and this is the station of uh, these trains. This is a map of the other line, U3, uh, which goes from Warschauer Straße via Wittenbergplatz uh, to the last station, Krumme Lanke. Uh, this line has a length of 20 kilometers and 24 stations, and uh, it has a own uh, southwest section. This is a picture from the line U3 of the station Augsburger Straße in the district of Berlin, Berlin Charlottenburg. This is the station in the Spichernstraße, transit station to the line U9. This is a picture of the sign, uh, uh, um, very useful, it also contains the uh, name of the line, U3. That's uh, very good for orientation. This is the next station, Hohenzollernplatz, a very nice station in the district of uh, Berlin, Wilmersdorf. The station was opened in 1913. This is a picture of the nice entrance hall of the station Hohenzollernplatz. This is the entry of the station. Now this is the next station, Fairberliner Platz. It is an entrance hall and it's a transit station to the other line U7. This is a picture from the station of the line U3. And you can see that it has very nice uh, columns. This is um, the station at the lower level of the other line U7, and you can see this is a more mo uh, modern design. This is the next station, a very beautiful station, Heidelberger Platz. It's a transit station to S-Bahn lines S41, 42, 46. This is a picture from the southern entrance of the station Heidelberger Platz. In the middle you can see there's a text. Uh, this is the text. It uh, refers to the op uh, construction of the station and the opening in the year um, 1913. This is a nice uh, sculpture of Josef Lang. It's called uh, Blauer Mann, which means uh, Blue Man, and it's located in the district uh, Berlin Wilmersdorf. This is the S-Bahn station, Heidelberger Platz, of the line S42. And uh, this play indicates this is a ring line. That's the counterclockwise uh, ring line, S42. And there's a clockwise ring line, that's the S41. And this is the S bahn that's the commuter train. And this series is the uh, 481 series. This is the station, uh, Rüdesheimer Platz of the line U3. Another nice um, a classic station. 
it contains uh, art. Now this is the station Breitenbachplatz in the district uh, Berlin Dahlem. This is the entry of the station. This is the station uh, Podbielski Allee. Podbielski um, Allee is named after General uh, Viktor von Podbielski. He lived, uh, lived in the 19th and early 20th century. Uh, he was a very popular general and a very popular politician. This is the entry uh, building of the station Podbielski Allee. The next station, uh, Dahlem Dorf of the line U3. Uh, you can see uh, these nice uh, seats. Um, uh, they are called uh, Liebespade, which means uh, lovers. Uh, this is a nice uh, station building of the station Dahlem Dorf of the line U3. This is the next station, the Freie Universität Thielplatz of the uh, station of the line uh, U3. This is the station building of this station. This is the next station, Oskar Helene Heim. And this is the station building of this station, Oskar Helene Heim. Uh, this is the station, Onkel Tom's Hütte. Uh, so this area is called Onkel Tom's Hütte. Uh, the story is, um, in the 19th century, um, a man named Thomas uh, built a pub. And he built uh, several cabins around uh, near the pub. And at that time, uh, the novel of Harriet Beecher Stowe from 1852 um, was the novel Uncle Tom's Cabin. It was very popular. And that's how this area got its name, Uncle Tom's Hütte. Yeah, that's the story of this uh, name. This is the terminus of the line U3 at the station Krumme Lanke. Uh, Krum means uh, bent. And this is the station building at the uh, station Krumme Lanke of the line U3. Uh, this is the lake Krumme Lanke. And you can see why it has this name, because its shape is bent. It has a length of uh, 1,100 meters. And it's um, about one kilometer away from the metro station Krumme Lanke of the line U3. And this is a very nice uh, picture of the botanical garden in the uh, district uh, Berlin Dahlem. It contains 22,000 different uh, plant species. Um, that was today's video about the uh, uh, Berlin Metro U-Bahn, of its uh, stations of the lines U1 and U3. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.